using uh what you, what you what you can on a budget everything depends on your equipment everything depends on the quality of your mic the quality of your webcam when i go out and do video recordings when we go out to evangelize do i have a gopro no did i used to have a gopro yes was i getting the best with gopro yes am i getting the best with what i have now no i got a 50 dollar camera web action camera but i use shutter shot call shutter encoder to do my encoding and i use shotcut to do my editing <clears throat> and i find those to be the best in my opinion other than DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you use DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to let you know right up front, you got to have a very powerful computer uh, because mine crashes every time I load it up. So I don't even bother with DaVinci Resolve, but it is the best. You know, that's what they use in Hollywood. The film producers use DaVinci Resolve for editing. And it's free. Yeah, but you know, it is what it is. I'm using a a forty five dollar fee fine. No, I'm I'm through with the fee fine. I'm using a forty dollar laser siren mini for my audio, and uh, I went on OBS and I configured it, and I'm still working on the uh, configurations to get the best sound possible. And I'm using a $20 camera that I got from Amazon. And I configured that as well. Full panel. And I think it's, you know, it's decent. It's decent for what it is. But I do plan on upgrading. But for right now, this is the best I got. Oh, I'm using a ring light. Right behind the camera. On a boom arm, I'm using a ring light right behind the camera because that's where the uh, light's supposed to come from, behind, directly behind the camera, not, not in front of it because it's going to put glare on your face, not over there because they're going to cause shadows. Got it right behind the camera, so I got the mic. I mean, I got the um, the I got the boom arm with an extender so that I can put the ring light right behind the camera. And I'm gonna do it a little closer. Yeah. It looks pretty good in my opinion. So uh, yeah, it all depends on your equipment. But you know, sometimes what you have, you have to make the best of what you have. If you go on the, um, OBS and they have a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, tutorials on how to get the best, even out of cheap equipment. If you have a cheap camera, you have a cheap mic, you can make it sound professional with, and you can make it look professional with OBS, you know what I'm saying? So in my opinion, OBS is the best, uh, the best um, for videos and editing and sounds and whatnot. So I got a set up, so you know, I got what, uh, uh, I got something called Lower Thirds, where I just switch over to lower thirds like I did right now. I'm on lower thirds. And I can put uh, my ministry here. See what I'm saying? And I can also put my donation here. Donations. So anybody want to donate. And I can also just click on this and it'll say, if you want to join our ministry, leave a comment or email me. You know what I'm saying? OBS is fantastical. Even for beginners. So I got uh, this here. Subscribe. And uh, let's go to my subscribe uh, button here. You know, I got different ones there. Watch this. Let's switch over to this one. Yeah. 
I got this one here that I like. All in all, I got about 10 of these. And it was absolutely free. But you got to know how to uh, configure it on your computer. So well, let me see, which one is my favorite one? I got one that goes and flies away, but I can't find it right now. And what else did I do? I also have scriptures here. So if I want to uh, have scriptures on here, I just go to okay. Let's go to let's go to Deuteronomy. And I can also pick which one I want. So Deuteronomy, and it's neat because I can just click on click on it. You know what I'm saying? And it'll it'll show up. Whatever one I want to pick shows up. That's good for when you're having church or Bible study. If you're a pastor. You're doing a sermon and you want the congregation to know what sermon you're uh, speaking on. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you can do so many things with OBS. It, it, it might take some time, but uh, it's, it's really worth it. So, I think right now I'm going on an intermediate level. Intermediate level. Now I can't do all that professional stuff that having these content creators do. It has stuff flying all over the screen and transitions. And all, but I'm learning about it. But for right now, I think I'm doing good for just uh, my niche, which is evangelizing and and ministering and discipleship. So it's all good. It's all good. Well, all righty then. Y'all have a blessed day and uh, stay strong. But most of all, stay strong in Christ, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>